hi guys welcome back to a new video if you're new to my channel you're very very welcome my name is busola i am a medical doctor living in lagos nigeria i make lifestyle and medicine content so please check out my channel if you have not already and do also subscribe because i'm sure you would absolutely enjoy the videos on there i also have videos from medical school so if you're a medical student or an aspiring medical student please also do well to check that out there are so many hacks so many videos that i made while i was in medical school that i am sure would be beneficial for you as you guys already know i recently moved back to lagos i moved into my apartment this apartment it took me a total of one day one full day of checking apartments house viewing and another two days to finalize getting my apartment and locking in the deal i have had a couple of people ask me about this apartment how did i get it what did i do was it difficult all of that and i am just going to be sharing tips and tricks on house hunting 101 in lagos because i think we all know that house hunting in lagos is insane okay it is ridiculous before i started house hunting i heard so many horror stories and that honestly scared the heck out of me i think before i started i was already panicking and because of that i went into deep research about how to make it easier for myself and how to make it fast also um, i needed it fast because i felt like i was pressed for time i was staying somewhere very very far from work and ubering to and through that place was ridiculous okay it was crazy the amount of money i was spending so i needed to leave and get my own place really really fast so i didn't really have the luxury of time i decided to make it short and sweet so all of this to say that if you are not in a hurry and you have a lot of time i have somewhere to stay that is very very convenient you're not pressed for time in any way i would not advise for you to house hunt in lagos for one day okay because being pressed for time or house hunting for one day will mean that you're going to not get the best deals of course you can be lucky and i think that in some aspect i was lucky in getting um this place that i got but i know that if i had explored many other places for a longer time i may have gotten a better deal for a better price and maybe even a better place i said i did not have that time it was very very inconvenient for me commuting so if you have time you may want to take your time and not limit yourself to the 24 or 48 hour time frame okay so now that that has been cleared up if you still need these tips let's get straight into it the number one thing that helped me was i was very very specific about the neighborhood i wanted it wasn't a thing where i was like oh okay mainland or anywhere on the island which is a very very large piece of land with so many different neighborhoods so there will be so many more choices to deal with and it will take you longer to make a decision because you would have to see so many different houses so the idea of this is limiting yourself so that you don't really have a vast range of choices to choose from because you already did your research and you know the exact neighborhood you want the number one thing is being restricted if you are not restricted you are just going to be looking at so many different places that is going to take, consume a lot of time for you you are going to have a lot of analysis paralysis when you have a vast range of things to choose from you are slower in deciding what you want it's just the way people who have so many clothes they will tell you i don't have any clothes because there's so much to choose from that it becomes a tedious thing to do Whereas someone who has two clothes, it's either the blue top or the yellow dress. Apart from that, there's no other option. So the choice is a lot easier. So pick your top two neighborhoods. I would, for me, I would restrict it to two. Initially, I had only one, to be honest. I restricted myself to one. And then after last minute, I added another neighborhood on top of that. And so I had two neighborhoods to pick from. And eventually, to be honest, I picked the second neighborhood and now i'm living in the second neighborhood and not even my initial first neighborhood so i'll restrict myself to two choices where you can pick from that would make it so much easier and faster for you to choose when you find the right places so the second thing that i would advise is you do a lot of window shopping this is going to help you 
with two things it's going to help you to know how many houses are for rent in the area that you are looking at because there are some certain neighborhoods that have more houses for rent than other neighborhoods so that would also help you decide where you want to look at and secondly it's going to help you decide what the price range is in these neighborhoods i'm going to leave a link of the website i checked or that i was window shopping from when i was house hunting so i did this for literally a whole month before i actually got to lagos and started looking at places while i was at home i was busy every single day i would go online and i would just keep checking houses and that helped me get an idea of what my price range was and what i should be looking at another thing that it helped me to do was it helped me to get numbers of a few agents that i eventually used so i eventually used a few agents and it was from that website i got the numbers of those people if i found a house that i really liked and was within the price range for what i thought that i could afford i would get the number of the agent and i would send them a whatsapp message i would also save the number a lot of them upload house listings on their status every single day they upload new house listings that are not even on the website so if you save their number you are going to be seeing a lot of um, different house listings that are available on their status so you can also from there continue your online house hunting i saved about 20 different house agents numbers and i messaged almost all of them some of them didn't respond some of them responded i didn't really like the way they responded and some of them were eager and i just felt like okay this person seems legit and it seems like he would have time to walk me through this process and he is more patient so for me i was looking at an agent that will have my time and that will be patient enough with me a lot of these agents they're not patient with you and they just want you to pay viewing fee which is something i'm going to talk about i'm going to talk about fees a little later but a lot of them they just want you to pay that viewing fee a red flag for me is an agent that will not even discuss any further with you until you pay an agent fee from there I'm, I'm i'm already not texting you back the agent i eventually used that i eventually got this place from till we finished the viewing that day guys he did not ask me for any money he was so patient with me i was very comfortable with him and eventually i got a place with him so any agent that from the beginning you're already telling me before we proceed you have to pay da 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 da, da into so, so account for viewing and it is 7k per um viewing or per apartment or per day from there i already know that you are not my guy and you are not going to be patient enough with me to walk through the process with me so i shortlisted a lot of agents from there i shortlisted them actually until i had three different agents that i was comfortable with another tip that i would give you is that you have to have your money ready plus an extra at least 20 percent the shock that i got i got the shock of my life after contacting these agents and going on these house hunts with these people because let me tell you something the price that they put on those websites or the price that those agents tell you if you don't ask them specifically what's the total package then you're not getting the total package they're just telling you how much rent is they've not included legal fees they've not, they've not included agent fees caution fee all of that and usually that amount the amount the extra charges is usually one third you heard me right one third or one quarter of what your house rent is sometimes it can even be half 50 percent of what your house rent is so that was an incredible shock to me so if a place is telling you one million naira, we're thinking it is 1.5 <laughs> That you are going to drop i'm not joking you guys i'm actually like it sounds like i'm joking but i'm not joking every single time you ask them what is the total package this was the biggest shocker for me i'm not going to lie the second shocker for me would be the viewing fee guys i was hearing so many different things about viewing fee there are people that will tell me 5k per apartment just to view the apartment 5k some people i someone actually legit told me 7k per apartment but a lot of them actually will give you maybe 10k per day so in a full day 
you can check as many apartments as you want for 10,000 naira. There are some people that were doing it for 7,000 naira per one day. It ranges from agent to agent, and that was also a shocker to me that even just looking at houses will cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> <laughs> there are going to be so many extra expenses so the amount that you are thinking your rent is just add half 50 percent of that amount for extra charges if you want to get a place very fast you need to be able to pay very fast as well it's not just about making a choice is about being able to pay very fast because if a place is really good chances are that so many people want that place and it's going to be gone before you know it another tip to make your search faster and to help you search in just one day is to have your non-negotiables for your apartment your absolute non-negotiables and your relative non-negotiables your relative non-negotiables are things that you can still actually negotiate this is not a real non-negotiable they are things that you would like to have but it's not a deal breaker but the absolute ones are the ones that are deal breakers and i had that list so it helped me a lot when if i see an apartment that doesn't fit into that i already know that it is cancelled you know there's i'm not thinking about it too much i'm not lingering in that apartment i'm not viewing the apartment for that i am moving okay i'm moving forward and i had a few of those things it had to be a white apartment not cream not purple not yellow not pink white the walls have to be white you have to have good electricity the thing is that they are not going to tell you the agents will always tell you that the electricity is good every single place that you go that's what they are always going to tell you what you will do for yourself is that when you get to a particular place especially when it is a neighborhood or a house that you really like take a stroll go to that tiny shop um nearby and usually i preferred speaking to a woman have a short chat with the woman oh I want to get a place in this ha in this area um is the electricity good like how many times do you have electricity how many hours do you have electricity in a day um does it flood you know all of that those people are not stakeholders so more usually than not they will tell you the truth and then you can get to know if this is somewhere that you want or somewhere you want to run away from okay it is very important for you to be smart when making these decisions because you're going to be living in this apartment for at least one year it's very important for you to make smart decisions and be smart when you are um, going to these places to view the apartments like i said i spent just one day viewing apartments i booked two agents one in the morning and one in the evening and if you have streamlined your neighborhood search to one or two neighborhood it helps you a lot because then you don't have to view 20 billion houses in one neighborhood maybe there would be if you're looking for one bedroom flat there will be maybe 20 flats in that neighborhood it's not going to be so many that you cannot view in one day and you have to be ready because it is very very stressful you'll be tired and emotionally spent as well because these agents are going to be taking you to uncompleted apartments uncompleted buildings guys after clearly stating that i want to move in in the next one week they were taking me to uncompleted apartments and they would tell they were telling me that oh this place is going to be ready next week literally there is no toilet there is no light yet there's no you know cement is everywhere there are laborers everywhere bricklayers they are still working there but you are telling me to be ready in the next two weeks am i stupid even if you tell them not to take you to these places they will still take you there so i went to a couple of uncompleted buildings and after a while i just would not enter if you take me somewhere that seems like it is not ready ready i'm just not entering i'll just stand outside and i'll tell you okay i'm done let's go to the next place they just want you to pay for a place and buy a place and once you have paid they will then keep pacifying you until after one month when that apartment is going to be ready take pictures and videos of every single apartment that you feel ticks the boxes that you are looking for so the top contenders take pictures and videos of the place and so that when you get home you can 
now go through them again and make your decisions properly it's better to have something to look at and to view than to try to be racking your memory and in those videos just be talking ask about the price so that you are watching it you already know oh this this place has this price put a lot of details also in the video let the agent speak ask questions while you are recording the place and let the agent answer your questions in the video so that you can go over them again so for me i think the most stressful part is that house viewing day because if you are in a hurry and you decide to view almost 20 apartments in one day you know how much work that will be at the end of that day guys i was spent i was so tired i was so tired so stressed i just wanted to go home and cry as well because i was hearing some funny funny prices and i'm like i did not prepare for this in my mind after the house viewing day that is where a lot of work also starts that is where your decision making also comes into play you get home that night or at least i got home that night and i got on the phone with my friends and my loved ones and i was just telling them the pros and cons because also i couldn't make the decision on my own i needed to bounce ideas off someone else so that to not just seem like i am rushing into something you know when you are also in a hurry you tend to make mistakes if you are on fast forward mode you tend to make mistakes and i was also very scared of making a mistake with the place that i was going to get because of how much of a hurry i was in also you need to be fast because like i said if an apartment is really good chances are that there are several people who also want that same place so your decision making needs to be fast before someone else snags the place up from you my first choice was snagged up from me okay like by the end of the second day guys i called the agent and i'm like oh i think i want to go with this apartment and literally they were like someone else already paid for it like sorry it's already gone and it was like a kick to the goal that other place was way cheaper than this place so this was my second choice because of the price the final thing you need to do after you choose a place you need to go back to that place before you pay and actually inspect it properly when you are not tired or on a day that you've not viewed like 20 other apartments so you need to go with a clear open mind and eyes so that you can see exactly what you're paying for so that was what i did i came back here came to check it again to be sure that oh, okay this is actually what i want and on that second visit asked for the meter number called ikeja electric to be sure that there was no recurring bill or there was no bill on the card you know, before i move in <laughs> and they now tell me start paying some ridiculous amount of money for someone else's nepa bills that i inherited okay so that's also very important because i've heard stories of people moving into an apartment and then they would not have electricity for a long time because they were not willing to pay inherited bills from the last tenant or the landlord so that is it about my house hunting experience and how i did house hunting for one full day and called it quits got my apartment and moved in within a week i hope that the tips really helped you the most important thing when you are doing something new is researching and getting your facts right because if someone else has made a mistake there's no point in you making that same mistake i don't believe in experiencing every single thing okay if you can learn from other people's mistakes then please do that thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to be kind to yourself and be kind to others i'll see you in my next one bye